In this video, I will show you how to use the forums tool. This is a tool that we will use to have our weekly discussions. I'm going to click on forums and you'll see that we have two forums set up for this class, the class discussions, and this is where each week you will have separate weekly discussion topics to answer. You'll also be responsible for replying to five of your classmates topics for each week. And then under other topics, we have class questions. So here, if you have any questions about the course, you can leave a, a question here. If you know the answer, feel free to answer it. This is a really nice place for you to, uh, you know, help each other out with any information that you'd like to, to know and to share over the course of the semester. For the weekly discussions, these open up with each week of the semester. So for now, we can only see week one. Week two will open up during the second week of the semester. So you won't be able to see the entire semester's worth of discussions. They open week by week. You can, however, go back and look at old conversations throughout the entire semester. So I'm going to um, click on class discussions just to show you and the full description. This tells you that each week we will participate in discussions related to the week's learning objectives. And then this is a great way for you to share ideas with your classmates. I'm going to go to the week one discussion. And to see the full description and any attachments, we'll click here. So you can read through the instructions for part one and part two. There are two attachments along with this discussion. So the first explains how to change or create, update your photo in La Lima. And then the second is a poem that you will use to help you complete part one of this assignment. So you can see that I left my introduction. If you want to look at my introduction, you can click on that. And I just did this for an example for the video. I will be updating this. If you'd like to reply to my message, you can click here, reply to initial message. And post your message here. You can see there's a word count and some assignments. You may have a particular word count that you have to use in your response. So that's a nice way to see if you're meeting the requirement. And then when you're happy with your message, you can just click post. I'm going to cancel because I don't have anything to post right now. I'm going to go back to week one. And then I want to show you if you want to start a new conversation, you can click here. This is in response to week one. You can add your name like I did here, Robin Kalali's introduction, and then add your introduction. If you want to add an attachment, you can do that. I'll just show as an example. Um, oh, I have to add a title first, but you get the idea. You're welcome to add attachments. And then um, if you're happy with what you have, you can click post. If not, cancel. And that's it. If you have any questions about how to use this tool, please let me know. Thank you.